Hey guys, I wanted to quickly come out and tell you what I saw in the market and also what Upstart reported. This is insane market condition. I mean, Upstart came out and they reported the earnings that took a firm, SoFi, Lending Club, everything down with them. I got an alert on our Discord that, hey, what's going on with SoFi? Is the earning released early or there's a leak in the earnings? I was like, what's going on? And that's when I saw SoFi down almost 7%. I immediately locked in. I was actually out with the kids doing a little hiking trip. And I immediately locked in and I saw Upstart reported earnings. And what they reported was not pretty. So I'm going to quickly give you a rundown of what Upstart reported and where market sees the potential problem with upstart and if the same thing happens with sofi we can see some crazy i would say stock movement tomorrow so upstart comes out and they see a revenue for 2022 for about 1.25 billion the estimate was 1.41 billion that's a drop and sofi don't forget came out after after the student loan moratorium extension came out and said that their revenue is going to be less so we know that sofi is going to come out and scale back the revenue a little bit because of the student loan second the uh, revenue for second quarter forecast so, uh, for upstart 295 million to 305 million while the estimate was 307 million that's another disappointing number. And Wall Street is always forward looking. They don't care for this quarter. They care for the next quarter more than this quarter. They beat, like Upstart beat the revenue for this quarter. If you look over here, it says the adjusted net revenue for this quarter was 295 million. Oh, sorry, uh, for the first quarter was 310 million, while the estimate was 303 million. So they reported a, a, a good revenue for this quarter, but the forward looking is what killed it. And because of that, a firm, SoFi, Lending Club, everything, everybody is suffering. So I see the same pattern tomorrow. All the SoFi investors, get ready. We are going to see some crazy price movement tomorrow. If SoFi comes out and they lower their guidance for the year, we, we already know because of the student loan, they have already lowered it. But if they come out and lower it even further, and if they miss on the second or, uh, or not the miss, but if they come out and they report the second quarter, they lower the expectations by a lot because we know we are going to see lower expectation because of the student loan issue. But if they come out and lower it even further, the stock is going to get killed. And some of the stock mem or Discord members have actually asked me that, are you buying SoFi because it's at like $4 now? And uh, sorry, $5.50, not $4, <laughs> God no, uh, $5.50 now, are you buying? And my thought and, and my answer was that, yes, I am buying it, but I'm gonna wait for the earnings. This is absolutely in my price range. My, my average is $15, so it's really high. I will be buying it at in the five dollar range but i'm gonna wait for the earnings for sure i'm not gonna just go and jump in, in in buying it because i feel like we can see some crazy price movement and stock movement after the earnings tomorrow and if the stock is down more than 10 percent i'm gonna wait till the market open the next day because cpi data can surprise us but if the market is I would say if the stock is is is, is down less than 10 percent then i might buy a little bit after the market close in the after hours. So we'll see how it is. I just wanted to come and give a quick update. Good luck to all the SoFi investors. Let's hope tomorrow that we come out as an outlier and we basically kill it in the revenue, kill it in the, in, in the second quarter forecast. And also 2022 will be an amazing year. <laughs> These are all good things we can only hope for. So let's hope for the best and I will see you all tomorrow to discuss the earnings. Take care, bye-bye.